Rosemary Bell Antoine graduated from the Norman Manley Law School in 1988. That year, Hurricane Gilbert ravaged the island and no graduation ceremony was held. Today, my wife was also the valedictorian for her class. They were the Gilbert year, 88, we were 87. So they didn't have a ceremony. They had their ceremony 25 years later in 2014. Thank you, Miss Aina. In 1988, she won a Cambridge University scholarship to pursue the LLM. She then worked briefly at one of the top firms in London Clifford Chance. There she was asked to do research for the first Caribbean death penalty cases, which paved the way for the landmark Pratt and Morgan case. In 1989, she was invited to join the Faculty of Law and began to hone her academic skills carving out her intellectual interests, labor law, human rights, administrative law, and public international law. At the Faculty of Law, UWE Cave Hill, Antoine's promotion was meteoric. She moved from lecturer to senior lecturer in rapid succession, and by 2004, was promoted to the rank of professor, becoming law's youngest professor. In 2013, she was appointed the first Dean to the Faculty of Law, UWE St. Augustine, after a rigorous and competitive hiring process. Professor Antoine has always been preoccupied with how law impacts the lives of citizens. As Dean, she was anxious to bring the realities faced by citizens to the attention of her students. She wanted them to experience how law could be leveraged to touch and ameliorate the human condition. In 2014, she established the International Human Rights Clinic to pursue what she describes as innovative legal education, human rights activism and litigation, extending academia to NGOs, practitioners and international tribunals. Professor Antoine is never afraid to speak her mind, share her faith and beliefs, and ruffle feathers when she deems it necessary to do so. In delivering the feature address at the opening of the law term in Trinidad and Tobago, she quoted a memorable biblical passage in Luke 11, 45-52. In that passage, Jesus admonished the experts in law in poignant and dramatic language saying, Woe to you, because you load people down with burdens they can hardly carry. Jesus told these experts in law that they had taken away the key to knowledge. Professor Antoine then reminded the lawyers that justice must also reach those it seeks to serve. Our nominee has a deep, unwavering commitment to the rule of law and its protection of human rights, a passionate belief that the plethora of economic and social rights enshrined in education, health, work are the bedrock of civil and political rights and the key to the development of our people, region, and indeed our shared humanity. She believes that discrimination in whatever guise is insidious, whether it exists at the workplace, is alive in our consciousness or expressed against minorities directly or otherwise. She has fought relentlessly against discrimination and injustice in all its guises, whether based on gender, race, or social situation.